What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. How you guys doing? Your boy Amal X Winston back with yet another video. And of course, you see we got the Kyrie stack right here. You know what time it is. With this video, I tried to put it all hold for as long as possible, but for some reason, I still feel at some point they're gonna drop another pair of Kyrie Sevens. So ideally, what I wanted to do was grab all the Kyrie Sevens and then rank my collection, but with the Kyrie 8 release right around the corner, or should I say the Kyrie Infinity, it's just like, it makes no more sense. It makes more sense to just do it now because that release is about to come out and they're, they're gonna start coming out with colorways. So, like I said, I still feel like they're gonna drop one or two more Kyrie 7s, but for now, this is my Kyrie 7 collection. A bunch of shoes right here. I've said it over and over, the Kyrie 7 has been my favorite silhouette from his line so far and you could tell by all the Kyrie sevens that I have like this is the most of one silhouette that I've had for Kyrie outside of this I probably had like maybe five Kyrie sixes but the sevens I got a bunch so stay tuned appreciate you guys tuning in and watching this and just you know what I mean because most of these I'm pretty sure damn near all of these you guys already saw in the individual reviews but this is just my personal ranking of how I see the shoes within the collection. And if you're interested in this shirt, this is the Kyrie Urban shirt I just got from Nike.com. So if you're interested in grabbing this, I'll leave a link down below. Just came out. Nice, simple shirt, not too crazy. Got a pyramid, of course, at the back, because you know, with Kyrie and everything like that. Always supporting my guy. And with that being said, let's just dive into this collection. And I'm gonna rank them personally out of everything. So this is my personal opinion, of course, on the shoes. You don't have to agree with me. If you disagree or agree, just leave it down below in the comment section. But that being said, drop a like on this video, subscribe if you haven't. And like I said, leave a comment, share it. But let's dive into this. So I got 11 shoes right here. I'm going from 11 to one. So here we go with the first one. Kyrie Urban Box, y'all know how the box looks already. Peel this back and what's at the bottom of the list? It would be the Kyrie 7 Sisterhood. So, no knock on this shoe. Love this Sisterhood pair. Really nice pair. Beautiful shoe. It hits the blue. And we, I think I said this when I made the review about it that Kyrie always makes sure that every one of his silhouettes always pay homage to women or women basketball and this was this shoe and i'm glad i got it i'm not a big fan of the color blue as you guys know so this deep royal blue is probably one of the main reasons i put it to the bottom of the list because i do wear it but not as much as i wear the other shoes spare laces are still bagged up right here i didn't want to do the overkill with the blue so i just kept the black laces on these guys but yes a very nice shoe Really good colorway, one of the first colorways of the Kyrie Sevens to drop. And I mean, I still love this shoe, no doubt, but I just don't wear it as much as I wear the other ones because like I said, I don't have too much blue and don't get me wrong, love it, but eh. On the scale of all the other Kyries I have, this unfortunately had to fall to number 11. But with that being said, don't wanna make this video too long. Number 11, we're gonna jump into number 10. Peel this back, and what do we have here? Ah, the Kyrie 7 Weatherman. And this one is a really nice one, again. Came through with the combination with him and Katie, came together, made this shoe. So the real reason this is number 10, I know some of y'all probably gonna kill me at the bottom, in the comment section, but I'm really not a fan of like a blacked out outsole shoe. And granted, it's not blacked out because you got the hints of the weather forecast system right here. I kind of just wish it was like iced out like the KD4 was. And I don't wear this one as often as I wear the others because this green is pretty vibrant. And I, I don't know, I love it because I bought it clearly. I gotta like it if I bought it. But when I rank it compared to the other ones I have in the collection, in my opinion, this one doesn't stand out to the other ones that I do have in my collection. So for that, I had to put it at number 10. Nice shoe, love the green. I love the ins, I love the inner liner. I love the little thermal map feel to it. I just wish that the outsole wasn't blacked out, but nonetheless, a great shoe, great colorway. But compared to everything else, it had to sit at the bottom end of my collection list. So here we are, number 10, Kyrie 7 Weatherman. Let's move on to number nine. So the first two shoes out there, I hope I ain't hurt nobody's feelings. Hope nobody's really coming at me down there because I had the weatherman's at the back end. But I mean, I got some other Kyrie 7 heat, so bear with me, bear with me. 
coming in. Number nine, peel this back and oh, all right, here we have them. Number nine, we got the Kyrie 7 Sour Waves. So this is, this is from the preheat pack. He dropped four, well, he actually dropped more than four shoes. He dropped five from the preheat pack completely. But this one, the Sour Wave, kind of fell towards the bottom end of my list. And don't get me wrong, I do love this shoe still. I love the different colors on the outsole, how he played with that, that pop of blue on the Air Zoom Turbo unit, and just the hot pink inner liner. It's a great shoe, and it's honestly only down here because the other ones are just a little high in my opinion. And a lot of people that I talk to like this one probably the most out of the preheat pack. Me, as you can tell why it's down here, I didn't, but clean shoe, nonetheless, Kyrie 7, Soundwave. Definitely for Kyrie's love of music, as you can see right there on the back tab. Higher than the other two, but still at the lower end of my collection list. So here we go, number nine. Let's move on to number eight. Let's keep it going, let's keep it moving. Here we are with number eight. So pull this back, and yes, we have these right here. The Kyrie 7 Ray Guns. And this one is a special one for me. I didn't want to put it so low, but I had to because you know I'm a big SB guy and I have a huge ties to the SB community. So when it came with Kyrie, my favorite NBA player, and I love the Kyrie models, and he comes behind it with an SB ties, I mean, it's pretty dope. So it's not as, in my opinion, would I rather this or the Kyrie 3 Ray Gun? I'll easily say the Kyrie 3 Ray Gun, but this is a good option for me. And I like it. You got the Martian at the back, you got the black and orange hints, you even have some stuff on the TP finger straps. Really cool, but it just doesn't hold up as the Kyrie 3 in my opinion, even though the Kyrie 3, that was a PE only for him. And I've been looking online, I've seen some prices for that, and that's crazy high. So I'll stick with these guys. I'll pay them 130 and pick these up. And it's a nice pair. Definitely good, but compared to others, it had to be ranked at this number. But, you know, if you like it, go for it. And if I had to choose between this and one of the other ones I showed you, I probably would have went for this hands down. One of my favorites that he dropped from the Kyrie 7s, right here, the Kyrie 7 Ray Gun. So with that, let's move on. So, Lucky 7, what we got right here? Boom, Kyrie Urban Box, peel this back. And we got another one from the preheat pack and we have the icon of sport. And quick story, when I first saw images of this shoe from the preheat pack, I thought this was gonna be my favorite one until I had it in hand and I looked at it and I saw a bird's eye view of it when it's on my feet. And it just fell in my opinion. When it came to the preheat pack, it's not, as you could tell already, the sound wave wasn't really my favorite out the pack. These were, the sound wave kind of landed at the bottom end. These are, right above the sound wave. It's for Kari's love of sport and sport icons, you can tell, because this one, when you really think about it, it has ties to purple and gold for Kari's, his idol, Kobe Bryant. It got some black in there, which I'm assuming is for the Brooklyn Nets. And then when you kind of look at it from a certain angle, it has shades, it's a deep red, but the underline kind of reminds me of like the old school Cavaliers jersey that he used to wear when he was back in Cleveland. Good shoe, love the outsole on this one, how it just, Changes from black, yellow, well, black, gold, purple, blue, and I'm assuming the blue was the blue is from his Duke ties, the Brotherhood and the white. Good one, but came in at lucky number seven. So here we go, Kyrie seven, icon of sport, and that's it. So now that we got this out the way. Let's move on to number six. Boom! All right, we got five pairs out the way. Now we heading on to number six, and we come to number six. We got these ones right here. Kyrie 7 box, of course, peel this back. And what we have here, the Kyrie 7 Azuris. And I'll probably say this is a fan favorite. And the only reason I'm saying that, because the review that I've made for this shoe, those numbers are going up. Like, I'm not mad at it, keep watching it. But a lot of people love this pair, and I'm not mad at them. It's pretty nice. Love how the colors blend on it. And it reminds me of the Kyrie 6 Asia Urban. It's not the same as far as the color scheme because Asia used a little bit more different shades of purple. But this light, this, what's it? What is this? Lilac? Just a beautiful touch. It's like a beautiful shade of purple, especially for his daughter. 
and there's so many ties to the shoe and if you want to watch a review on that like i said a lot of these shoes i've done reviews on so i'm gonna put the link in the description for all the reviews so you can kind of watch and have a full breakdown of the shoe instead of like a quick rundown that i'm doing right now but yes fan favorite azuri urban so yeah here we go moving on to number five Top five, let's see. Which pair has caught the top five? We got this one right here, and this back. And I gotta say it, the Kyrie 7 Copa. And it's hard, man. It's really hard for me to decide this one for it to be in top five, but it was definitely needed. And it's so crazy to me because I did drop a review on this recently. It was just in this, my sneaker rotation video, but I, fronted on this pair. When I first saw images of it, I was like, nah, I'm good. I got a lot of Kyrie 7s that it is. I don't feel like I need this pair, but when I seen them in the hand, I was just like, I gotta grab them. I love the um, Nike grind speckle on the outsole, Nike grind on the TPU, the Nike grind on the swoosh, and I love this vibrant, what color is this? It's called, the color is called Copa. I love the vibrant Copa and that black zoom turbo. It just makes it pop. Yo, this is a good one. This is a goodie and I have to put number five over the Azuri. And I know the Azuris are nice. Hey, but this one, it just works a little bit better in my opinion. I just like the color scheme a little bit more. So that's why this guy right here is number five. So now that you got this out the way, move on to number four. Ooh. Number four, let's go. <sighs> got the box right here, peel this back. And yes, we have the Kyrie 7 Expressions. So another one from the preheat pack, crack top four. And this one, when I first saw images of preheat pack, I was just like, I think this is my least favorite until I got them in hand. And this one is really nice. I love the colors on it. And it reminds me of the Kyrie 6, the preheat one, um, the Miami one. The colors, they're similar, but it's not the exact same, but it's very similar to that. And I just love this one because it pretty much ties to Kyrie's love for art. And you can see it right there at the back. It's just a beauty. And the funny thing about it, I think last year he played a lot of games in this. Now that I think about it, last year I didn't really see him in any other preheat model outside of this one. I don't think I saw him in the sound wave. I saw him in the Icon of Sport, but the PE version, the purple one, and the special effects, I don't remember seeing him playing that at all. I saw him play a lot of games in this pair and the games that he played in with this pair, he cooked in. So, of course, I'm missing my guy on the court right now. Wish he was out there, but you know, they got some rules right now and why, so it is what it is. But I do believe I'm gonna see Kyrie Irving on the court again soon. Miss him out there and I used to love seeing him when he came out and showed out in these shoes right here. So, here we go, number four. Kari 7 Expressions. So with that being said, we're gonna crack the top three right now. So I'll be right back. Top three. Whew. Went through a lot of shoes just now. Got three more left. So I think you guys should know, have an idea of the next three coming up, but let's just jump into it. And we got this one right here. Nike Bayou Box. A little bit different. So this is the first time I did a Nike Bayou or Kylie Custom, and it came out beautiful. And this pair, sorry for the noise you're hearing. Kyrie 7. So it doesn't have a name, but I was what I was thinking about when I was doing it was the Kyrie 7 Chinese New Year. So the Chinese New Year pair they came out with, he had a PE version that he wore like on court, but it's like during a shoot around. And it's the same thing, same exact colorway as this. The only thing different was his swoosh is a little different and the back and the back tab was different. So I was like, damn, I wish Nike Basketball gave us that version instead of the original version they released. Until I'm like, you know what? Let me go on Nike Bayou and make that same exact shoe. And that's exactly what I did. And this is how the shoe came out. Beautiful shoe. Love how vibrant this red and this pink is. When I wear it, people think about Valentine's Day, which I could definitely see that. But the gold accents to make it pop, this shoe is the one I made and I'm really happy with it. Even though I was executing a shoe that Nike made themselves, but 
I love how this one came out. Every time I wear this one, I always get compliments like, oh, I love those. I want to make those. I want to buy those. And I'm like, hey, if you want to buy them, Nike Bayou, the color should still be there. And I think the option for Nike Bayou Bakari 7 is still there right now. So if you're interested in picking up this one or interested in picking up any customized Bakari 7, go ahead because I know when the Kari 8 or the Kari Infinity launch, that's going to be taken down. So yeah, if you need one to, get your hands on them right now. Kari 7 Bayou. Now let's move into the top two. Whew, here we go, last two. And this one was pretty hard. I felt like I made the right choice because I thought about a lot of things outside of the colorway. I thought about story, I thought about detail, and all right, let's, let's just get into it. So number two, Kyrie Urban Box, this back, and this one right here is, oh my goodness. Hands down, I thought when I first saw this shoe, like no other Kyrie 7 was gonna beat this shoe. This shoe right here, the Special Effects Kyrie 7, has been my favorite Kyrie for damn near until number one came out. And it's just magnificent. Like, let me just read the color code on this because it's bleached aqua metallic gold. You got the bleached aqua all around. You got that metallic gold pop on the swoosh and on the medial swoosh. You got that vibrant red inner liner. And just on like the insole, like how it's supposed to play off of a green screen. So this is because of Kyrie's love of mute, um, Kyrie's love of movies. Like, yo, this one right here is a banger. And like I said, it was really hard for me to choose between this one and number one, but a lot played into it and I had to go put these at number two, but they were this close, like believe me, this close to being number one, but unfortunately they got beat out and a, a beauty right here, a beauty. As far as like the general release Kyrie, this is hands down number one in my opinion, but the other shoe I got, they put so much work into that, I would be doing it a disservice if I didn't make that number one. So with that being said, put this to the side, let's grab number one. 10 shoes down, one left. And of course, if y'all know, the last one is the Kyrie 7 Horse. Welcome to Horse. What Concepts did with this shoe, the Kyrie 7 Horse, is nothing short of magnificent. And look at the boxing for this. Like, yo. Put this back. And here we go. The Kyrie 7 Horse. This one right here is definitely number one because outside of the colorway, the colorway and don't get me wrong, colorway, I would've went with the special effects, colorway wise. You know what, I mean, colorway wise, I would've went with this one, but the story and the attention to detail is definitely why I had to go with this one. Like, And I'm not even gonna go too deep into this because if y'all into the Kyrie stuff, I have another Kyrie video coming out shortly where I'm gonna have like going to somewhat of a little deep dive. But if you want more information on this shoe, I'll put the link in the description for this video right now. This video is doing numbers. This video is about to be at 10K. And this is like the fastest growing Kyrie video I've seen since, since the daughter's pair. That pair is at like 6K right now, surprisingly. But this, whew, marvelous shoe. Love it, and like I said, if you want more information on it, I'm gonna leave the link down in the description. I just didn't want to make this video too long, doing a deep dive and repeating myself again from what I said in that one. But this is definitely number one. The swoosh, the story, the colors, the different shades of orange, the lotus flower. If y'all didn't catch that, the lotus flower, and if y'all don't understand that, click the link in the description, tap on this video, and you'll definitely understand. So with that being said, that's it. This is number one. That's how I rank all of the Kyrie Sevens I have in my collection right now. Do you agree with my list? Do you want to debate it? you want to go back and forth? Hey, leave it all down below. I'm here for all the comments, the concerns, the criticisms of how I listed it. Trust me, I'm here for it. Leave it all down below. I'll respond to all of you guys. Trust me, I always respond to anybody that comments on my videos unless it's something crazy. If it's something crazy, best believe I'm not responding to that. But like I said, that's pretty much it. Um, do you guys have any Kyrie Sevens in your collection? If you do, 
Did you see any of the Kyrie Sevens that you have in my list right here? Like I said, leave it down below. I hit you guys back up. And how y'all feeling about the Kyrie 8 or the Kyrie Infinity? Based off the colorways I saw in that, I don't think I'm gonna have as many pairs as the Kyrie 7. I really wanna see how they feel on feet. But that's it. Peace, love, and positivity as always. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And with that, I'm out. It's number one, and I'm out of here, y'all. Peace.